Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and this is Fears the Fathom, Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout. Episode 4? Yeah, cool. Uh, this is a horror game that follows the Fears the Fathom storyline, kind of. Uh, the basic little stories that get sent to the dev, and then he turns them into a game. This one is about, about Jack Nelson, a 24-year-old fire lookout, transferred to a new outpost. As he settled into his new home, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. Little did he know what was transpiring down in Ironbark State Park. That's fun to say. Should I say that like 10 times fast? Ironbark State Park. Cool. Let's do it. I'll have a playlist down in the comments in the description of all the other Fears of Fathom episodes. May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears of Fathom, Carson House. And that was the previous one. What I'm about to recount happened when I was about 24 or so at the time. Uh, it feels like... It feels kind of weird telling ever, <laughs> telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel, I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job at a, as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. I love me a nice etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to, avoid, to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. I'm sure being stationed at a, as like a park ranger was nice. Not sleeping in your RV anymore. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. <gasps> and we get to drive, sick. I love when these Indie horror games just add random driving mechanics. And this is our mobile home. Love it. Uh, Kayla? Uh, is that my sister? I'll read that once I find a place to park. I don't want to text and drive. Gotta be responsible. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. What kind of memories you got where you need to live it out of an RV and work in the forest? <laughs> you know what time it is. It's time to end it all, baby! Yeah! Uh -huh. oh. Alright. I should have taken it easy. Sorry, go man. Ah, God! Sorry! Ah! Sorry! <laughs> I always love the great outdoors. <laughs> I like swerving. I like driving like an absolute menace. Because being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Having these wide, luxurious roads gives me happiness. Three more texts from Kayla. I'll read those in a second. God damn. I'm busy. How's it going, everybody? How you doing? So after the lack of uploads for the last couple days, I really fucked myself up. Uh, me and my husband, my, I almost called him my boyfriend, we got married. Me and my Scottish husband, uh, I've been going to the gym, and I was doing shoulder press, and not even a whole lot of weight. It was just like my warm up. And whenever I went up, it was just like this sharp shooting pain right through my shoulder. Uh, I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Okay. Pull it here. Uh, this really sharp shooting pain through my shoulder. And that was about a month ago. And it's just been getting worse ever since. And this past week has just been excruciating. One thing I will say is that the brakes on this thing are terrible. I'm gonna turn that off. So this is my cute little RV.
Lovely. Uh, presidential cliffhanger awaits Florida recount. Oh wait, this takes this has to take place in like the year two thousand or something. Doesn't yeah two thousand one. When was the uh, Florida recount for Gore v. Bush? Ew. This little piece of heaven. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Uh, you new around here? I'm a new staffer at the Iron Bark State Park. Must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or the Goat Man. <laughs> People say there's something like that living in the forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. I got achievement for talking to them. Also, I gotta fix this. This right there. Okay, there we go. And the way this guy chews and is just slurping on that burger. Ugh. Let's see. Do I have a... Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Mitch Scott. <clears throat> Congra uh, congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. I heard about you from Josh. Uh Welcome to Twin City Diner. How, um, good, how about you? Feel free to take uh, any seat you like. I'll be right there with you. Alright, thank you. Did she like peek her head out the window? Let's see. Very. Uh, got my ID today. Your shift starts on the 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me. Uh, the job is not news to you. Can I ask you just one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoyed the thrill, or lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry. I'm just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are, only to leave without notice. Uh, I guess they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the, soli the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Ironbark. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday. Just park your truck around back of the gravel park by gate D. Got it. Uh, from there, you're on foot. Uh, take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll be a couple of hours until you reach the tower. Got it, thanks. Uh, see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Okay. Now, Kayla, my sister, I assume. This new regional manager is such a jerk. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure I'm joining you next season. Hee <laughs> hee. Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. Definitely, it's time for a change. Speaking of change, then his ID. Ironbark? There's half me to Ironbark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With Dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? I remember Roseburg, there's this diner while passing... Uh, oh, I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I'd really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Cool. So we're at this diner because our sister recommended it. Got it. Also, I think I have my saturation up too high. Let me... Filters... Yeah, it's at like 20%. There we go. Yeah. Hi! This looks lovely. 
Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> Can I help you? Can't do soft serve. Okay. Uh, you look a little lost. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Sorry, my new job at the nearby state park. No, oh, that's great. I didn't know those jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps you busy, that's for sure. I don't think I can handle a job like that. It's not for everyone, that's for sure. But I find it very fulfilling. Okay, boring. Aw, you look so happy eat eating this burger. Please leave me alone. Yeah, I feel that, buddy. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm headed up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Iron Bark State Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day? Uh, possibly? Can't even imagine what those parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. Okay. Is that a shovel? How's the food? He just stared at me. Mind if I join you? How would I join someone random like that? Oh my god, I can piss! I can, I can pee on the floor! Oh my god! <laughs> Wash your hands. Gotta have good hygiene. Sick. All right. Um, can I sit at the counter, or do I have to sit at a table? We'll see here. Hey, sweet cheeks. Hey, toots. <laughs> I'll have whatever you're selling. <laughs> I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. Uh, what can I get you? Ooh, meatball sub with chicken nuggets, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, cheeseburger with fries. I'll do that. Strawberry slush. I'll do a large Coke. For okay, so for some reason for me, I can't eat like fried, uh, like savory foods and drink coffee. I can only have like pastries and like something sweet. I can't do like meats with my coffee. You know? I just. Well, I guess I'm gonna have coffee. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Uh, just let me know if you need anything else. I appreciate it. I keep thinking this guy's staring at me. Oh boy, is this my food? It's gonna get cold by the time you get here. Thank you, bitch. Delicious. Two shots of the sauce. That chewing sound effect is getting me. Two new messages. I'm just chugging this coffee. Just necking it. Let's see. Uh, so did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I bring the check? Check, please. Told you, hee hee. Food reminds me. You should send that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance <clears throat> to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Well, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in, send you in a bit. Got it. I have hiccups for some reason. Just hit. Uh, here's a check. Your total is six dollars and sixty cents. Um, fifty percent tip. Fuck. 
So I'm giving her $3.30. That's not bad. You got achievement, generous. Wow, thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. Clear my... <laughs> I just tipped you. All right. Um, can I go back here and talk to Buddy? The grill master? No? Okay. Um, I guess that's it in here. Nobody else wants to chat. I think... Yeah, there's nobody else in the parking lot. Want to listen to him chew? That's like the juiciest, sloppiest, wettest burger eating sound I have ever heard. Close that. Let's check back here. Bathroom door is strangely jammed. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Is there a way you can turn the radio off? Reverse right in the back of their wall. Now, I guess we just keep driving until we get to the park. Oop, let's not plow into you. 8 or 2 p.m. Like this music, I don't mind. I want to include the location of this park. What? Oh, there, it might have said something before that. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Oh. You're somewhere in the northwest, he said. So I'm gonna guess either Northern California or Oregon. It could also be Washington. I drove past the trailer first, oops. I think I said I'd park around back. Onto the foot trail. Oops. Oh, and I can't. Oh my god, I, I can't. I'm, I can't. Okay. I can't reverse. Is this good enough? Can I just leave it there? Hello? Hi. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? And the new transfer to, or the new transfer fire lookout? Is that correct? I didn't know you were hiring this season. I know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Can I steal any of your shit while you're doing that? Are these the three kids that we're missing? Hmm. Okay, pal, you're good. You're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Apologize for confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. I need to move my camper, bro. Okay. Hey, everybody. I had to restart because I couldn't move the RV. And anytime I tried to move it, dialogue kept popping up and getting in the way. So let's just park up first. God, the brakes in this are terrible. Oh, all right. Um, got my bag. Is 
So we go do the Billy thing again, and then we'll be ready. All right, thanks, buddy. Yeah, all right, now, flashlight. Uh, since you're raving this late, you might also need this flashlight. Okay, take flashlight. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now, for our purposes, yeah, I gotta do that part. Okay, uh, thank you, Billy. Hey. That's a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that, uh, that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Fucking weirdo. Alright. Let's head into the woods. Oh boy. No bikes. Only horses. Stay on trail. Can I ride a horse? I would love that. Yeah, and here's the missing kids. Aquatic beverages prohibited. <laughs> this backpack is full of hooch. That strong stuff. It's a st stiff drink. Eleven thirty-two p.m. Damn. So I've been in the woods for like three hours. It was a long hike, and I was starting to get cold. Frequency is... Do I try this down? One, five, five, nine, two, five. Okay. Yeah, it's dark as fuck. Um, Lacy Trail. Ooh. Oh, here's my actual tower. Ominous. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Utility shack. Okay. Got the shitter. A generator. Sec. Oh, that turns that on, too. There's another tower out that way. Yeah, I think it's only a tower that I can see. Okay. Cabin was full of the aroma of wood, giving a sense of comfort. I was finally home, uh, in my new home for the next few months. Osborne Firefinder. Uh, it's like a compass uh, size of a pizza. Uses to uh, spot fires on the map. Okay. Got a stove. A radio. Nice. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops uh, are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. System password is Iron Bark, tower number. Uh, refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games on the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Okay. Uh, Multicolor, okay. Rainbow 98, damn. Uh, Iron Bark 11. Yeah. Cute. Uh, let's see. Hello there, Smiley. Your trusty virtual assistant here to help you. <laughs> okay. Clickety clickety. Here's a random fact for you. The Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but also incredibly old. It's estimated to be around 6 million years old. 
Here's a random fact for you. Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Huh. Cool. Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies. Have a blast. Good luck. Okay. Ow. Oh god. Brains. There we go. There, buddy. I hear like, I hear a clown laughing somewhere, but I can't find him. I don't know if he actually is anywhere. But yeah, I got enough points to get the achievement, so I might just let the zombie kill me here in a second if I can't find the clown. I, I keep hearing like a, whoa. <laughs> Oh no! I fell off the map. All right, good enough. All right, uh, what else we got? We got console, service reporting, iron bark trail map. Whether you're planning a hike, assessing hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. Okay, so this is where we are. It's Pigeon Pass. Gold Creek Trail. Yeah, I said don't go up here, right? Hmm. Mount Misery. Huh. All right, uh, let's close that. Let's do service reporting. Hello? Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Ah. Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron, Ho from Iron Horse. You're an experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. You got really a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it, thanks. Okay, what's the weather though? Uh. Oh, this is wind speed. Okay. So the wind is at 17 knots. So let's go ahead and Okay, and then space. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Shut the fuck up. Should be around the entrance. Put that on the ground. There's no firewood. No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Ready. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. Uh, where's the temperature gauge? There's binoculars. A knife. Yeah, there's no firewood. Yeah, how, where, how do I see the temperature? All 
All right. Uh, before I do that, oh, oh, much better. Actually, I might need that. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay. I dropped my flashlight on the ground. Yeah, let's go get some firewood from the shack. Got some firewood. My hands are full. Okay, G. Also got some matches and an extra... Okay, here, let me... Let me throw this stuff upstairs. And then I'll cut to the next thing. I've actually played quite a lot of games that take place in a Firewatch tower. Like, there's the game Firewatch. And there's a game called Do You Copy? And I believe that there was another one before this. There you go. Gas. No. No, that's wrong. Um. Do I crouch? Right mouse button to open. Boop. Need a gasoline. I've. Is that good enough? Like. There we go. Yes. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Okay. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Okay. Stand up, please. Thank you. Um. Did you report for the night yet? No, let me get to it. Get to it then. Here at Iron Park, you are required. Report every night before signing off. Okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Employee training, flash drive media. No update available. Uh. Wait, C. HK Ver Okay How do I figure out Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. Is that Jack Subtic guy? Is that Sean? You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Mm. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. I'm going to drink and drive. <laughs> Keep <laughs> records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Mm -hmm. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. Uh-huh. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. 
The campers might start a campfire, which could lead to a wildfire. <laughs> they will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Yep. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Why is it? Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Yeah. Pee pee poo poo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Top of the morning. Yep. That was that was Sean. Cute. Plant interview. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. How does that work? Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? <gasps> Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? <laughs> Nobody talks to me like that on my show. Oh, this plant's fucked. What the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of sh I see. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Bob Ross. Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. <laughs> it reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Do you? Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. Oh, this brush oh, is God. really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. Uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction <laughs> uh, Forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Cute. That is adorable. All right. Well, that was entertaining. That was edifying. That was eye-opening. 44.6. Got it. It's chilly. And... Mm, partially cloudy. Um, is 
zero reported by what's our name again? Oh no, what was our name again? Jack Nelson. I wasn't sure if I had put the right weather condition. Oh, okay, so clear. Copy, new guy. Tower 11, I copy. I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Thanks, man. Don't let the bed bugs bite. All right, um, so I got the report submitted. Yes, yeah, so there's Jack. Tower 13 never clocked in. Or four. Do I know any of these names? No. All right. I think that's all I can do night one. Okay, lights out. I guess let's go sleep. Three twenty six AM. Uh, my eyes are all they're all like bleary, like ugh. Okay. Hello. I to pee. Connor? Okay, so I have to I have to piss. Let's light on. Flashlight. On my first night, being out in McCadden gave me a strange feeling. Being left alone was somewhere in what? I can just pee off the side? I can already, I can piss so much in this game. Oh my god. I hope there's somebody down there just getting a soaked, just drenched. Is that somebody in the forest right there? Well. Um, turn that off, drop it. Okay, guess I'm going back to sleep. It wouldn't let me down the steps. So I couldn't use the porta potty like a normal person. Night two. Uh, it's just you and the wind, and the time melts away. Delicious. Mmm. Cute. This is lovely. I would do this. I bet they get paid absolute shit wages. I have to be out of drink now, right? Bird. New guy. You copy? What? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? No. Throw that in there. Alright. Um. Bin. Nothing in the bin. Tower 11. Do you copy? What's up? Son of a bitch. Why? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Um, got my goggles. Oh, yeah. 
Smoke is white, indicative of a campfire. See, I see him. You see that smoke up north? Yes. Hold on. Fuck. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. In the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Uh oh. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Mind checking it out? Yes, do you have any other detail? Or is it safe? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Alright, so I gotta get up. Are there any new texts? Okay, so flashlight and bear spray? There we go. Cool. So I just need to go out there and investigate what these fuckers are up to. Um, Lacy Trail. I'm guessing it's just down here. It's the only trail I could go to. I couldn't go behind the thingy. Alright. Lacy Trails over this way. Okay, cool. Um, let's pause real quick. Also, there's a bear warning. Bear and air. Yeah, there's one right here. <laughs> Alright, pause. <clears throat> Alright. Eight thirty seven PM. It's gotten a lot darker. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Hello. I love Jen. Aw, good for you, Jen. She gives the best head. Wow, good for you, Jen. And there's three kids that are hung up. I'm assuming kids. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, fuck, 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 fuck. Stop that. <clears throat> Let's see. Sorry, just got home. Pizza, uh, pasta bake, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomato. Okay. Uh, you will not believe how easy this one is to throw together. Did you reach it? Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? I uh, hope everything is okay. Reply back when you get this. Sorry, Kay. Uh, I don't think my sector has very good service. Oh, it's the pictures I took. Cute. The view from my tower. Thanks uh, for the recipe. I'll. I might try it tonight. Uh, there's like a machete and all this gear over here, but I can't pick any of it up. Yeah, there's whistling coming back from over there. Um, hmm. Yeah, once we go this way. Uh. Who's there? Show yourself. Hey, there's the, the infinite S. Cute. Area on the site was closed. And nobody's coming out. And like, they have a lot of weaponry. Not weaponry, but like blades. They have an ax, scissors, knives, a spatula. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm leaving. Or, like, should I put the fire out at least? Had to get water. Okay.
And then let's dump this out. Probably need to get more water. Oh, nope. Oh, it's already out. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm done here. Yeah, I put out the fire. I can't get... Or I can't find anybody. Oh, fuck that. 9.07 p.m. As I hiked back to the tower, my... Uh, back to my tower through the dark. Okay. I couldn't help... I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think... What might have happened? Nope. Oh. Okay, I thought the game was about to crash. I was gonna get furious. Alright, I guess I'm going back to the tower. I need to do my end of night thing. back there. Okay, yeah, there's the other tower. Okay, um... She had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Got it. Do I need to update my computer first? Uh, Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Well, I'm clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? No. Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Uh, so I always thought that this was bullshit. Until I actually heard a fox screaming. Uh... So, last summer, my family, uh, flew to Germany. And then, were there for a few days, and then took a train to London. Where I went down and met them. We were in London for a few days. And the place we were staying at, London, was next to these this like small wooded park area. And at night, the foxes would just scream. And it really does sound like a, a lady screaming help. It's like, help! Help! Like that. It's crazy. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and... Vanished. No trace of them since. We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. A whistle? People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only wish they were true. What? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. Okay. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. Right. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for staying busy. Meanwhile, I'm like, uh, 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 I gotta, gotta go. So I can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Goons. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Will do. Over and out. Alright, um, let's do my closing thing. Okay. Hey, everybody. The recording stopped, so hopefully I didn't miss too much. Uh, 
So jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got when I got home. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom, hee hee. Looking at the photo made my stomach growl. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Okay. So I need to cook something. Um. At this point, I was starving. Okay. So I need uncooked pasta. Is there a pasta up here? There it is. Okay. So, boop. And then... Marinara. Okay. You. This is fucking cute. Uh, pepperoni. Okay. Boop. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. De buffalo. Ooh, that's really nice kind too. Uh, and diced tomatoes. Yuck. Uck, yuck, yuck. Big beans. Big beans. Yeah, there's like different kinds of meats in here. Oh, here it is. Ew. Okay. Pop that in. Hell yeah, baby. I'm a chef. Let's run down and get... I didn't bring my flashlight. Oh, well. Let's run down and get some firewood while that's cooking. Oh, fuck. I hear somebody whistling back behind the shed. I can't go back there. Okay, fuck that. Um, 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 um firewood. Let's, let's get out of here. Said so that the kids heard whistling and it led them into the woods. Checking the oven, but it was still cooking. Got it. Nope. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. What they say? That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to it. <clears throat> it didn't sound to me in a very good mood today. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thanks, Connor. Over 12, signing off. All right. Um, let's do the temperatures and stuff really quick. Fifty-eight point three, or forty-eight point three. Okay. Let's go get the wind speed. Wait, hold on. Forty-eight point three. The wind is at twenty-one knots. Okay, 21. It looks kind of cloudy out. Um, hello? Oh. What's my name again? Jack Nelson. I keep forgetting my name. Uh-oh. Okay, so number four, six, seven, ten, thirteen, and sixteen didn't clock in today. Sick. I like eating in bed. 
a whole like casserole in bed like i'm all for making a little plate and sitting in bed like eating it watching tv or something but not a whole fucking casserole that's crazy insane behavior um Do I need to... Oh wait. Here, let me throw that in bed. Boop. Get right up on it. There we go. And then... Eat your food. Oh, there we go. I mean, this looks nice. It looks crisp. God, I hope nobody sees me doing this. Bro, you gonna eat this entire thing tonight? I was already full. All right. So let's put it in the fridge. I heard something weird. All right. Boop. Good night. I always check the boards outside for him to bed. Close, close the boards outside. What? What do you mean? Oh, here we go. Gotta close these things shut. I didn't do this last night. Okay, I don't have one on that one. Got this side. Got this side. There we go. Now can I go to sleep? Am I gonna wake up in the middle of the night again? Yep. 2.27 a.m. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. A shadow moved across the window. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. You son of a bitch. I was spraying and stuff, too. He went right for me. Um, there's something strange about that night. Hide? Just wait. Um, I 
Hello. I'm so I know what to make of it at the moment. Hello, Mr. Man. So he was peeking in through here. You can't really get a good view of me. Oh, fuck no. Uh-uh. Um. I talked to Connor. Okay. Connor, do you copy? Do you copy? Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? Uh, there's something outside my door. You just couldn't wait until morning? Mention the skull. Tell you what, you guys. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids messing around. It was like some sort of real ritual. It feels like a some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. <sighs> Gotta get some sleep, Jack. Rude. Connor didn't make any sense. Okay, lock the door. Uh, not much else I could, done, could have done in the dark. I guess I'll go to sleep. Night three. Next day I woke up, uh, not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason. It was a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something more about that night that just felt darker. Oop. I just realized my camera wasn't on. Hello. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in or around the tower. Or by scanning the... D okay. Uh, my paranoia of these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. These are dirty as fuck. I can't see shit. Okay, am I just looking through the forest? Oh, there we go. I can actually wipe it off. Yeah, that was gunky. Oh. There we go. Yeah, there's something... Something was shot off. Out there. This is Jack Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time, and, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think, I think I'm lost. Um, what's my, what's your current location? He wouldn't know that. Right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. 
Uh, remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Okay, so he was going east. Uh, is there a map of the trails on here? Here it is. Okay. Uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still there? Yes. Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. I'm trying. Hold on. Okay, so there's Tower 11. North, south, east. Okay, so he... He's by Creek. So... I think he's around this area. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. I'm so confused where he is. Okay, let's have him go... Okay, if he's at... Let's say he's at this one. Or maybe he's at this one. If I have him go... Uh, hello? Oh my god. Uh, both of the, uh, I'm just... I'm at a trail Here, go now. right. I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail. But if you say so, right one it is. I don't know. You keep interrupting me, bro. Oh god. I hear you. Oh god. I hear your whistles. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Uh, bear spray? Oh, whoops. Holy moly. What took you so long in there? I was assisting a hiker. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. Uh, I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this one more second. Okay. Not a big deal, bro. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? Uh, I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that uh, would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing uh, you've been a bit on edge. Everything all right? I'll mention the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Stop saying that, bro. Did you take a photo before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's best you don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. So I need to start taking pictures of everything. Anyways, it's getting late. Uh, better get going now. I'll uh, just keep watch, okay? Thanks for the supplies. Thank you. All right. Well, that guy's dead. He's dead as shit. 56.1. Let's go ahead and fill that in. Uh, 56.1. Let's go figure out the wind knots. Um, yeah, the guy in the radio kept interrupting me, so I couldn't figure out where he was at. 26. Uh, boop. 26 knots. Eh, it's a clear night. 
I helped one hiker get murdered. Hell yeah. The right weather condition? Oh, okay. So, cloudy? Uh, let's go look, I guess. Yeah, this is a clear night. What? Mist? Wind. Okay, it's so number one, four, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and sixteen haven't checked in yet. And Connor is gone. Yeah, his is no longer. He's one of the ones that is missing. I guess I'll eat in bed. Food is cold. Okay. Microwave it. Um. Ah, oh fuck. I have to go get firewood, too. All right. Let's go down there and get firewood. Oh, there's my bear spray. So the lights are on in his tower, but he didn't put in his... I was too hungry? Oh, okay. There we go. Plop in bed. Nom 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 nom. Gotta scan my surroundings, make sure nobody sees me eating like this. Fucking embarrassing. Straight from casserole dish into mouth. <laughs> While sitting in bed. Okay. Stand up. I'll go throw this in the sink. Clean that later. Bop. Um, now... Let's go get firewood. Yeah, so that guy tried to whistle me into the woods, but I didn't take the bait. Okay. Anything new in here? Alright. Firewood. <laughs> You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right measures or message reach the right places, wouldn't you agree? I agree. Fires are high this season. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of pre uh, prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. Silas, how do I know his name? Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Yeah. The guy uh, gave out the creepiest vibes. Yes. And he's also walking just right out into the woods. Like, not following a trail, just going in the middle of nowhere. Fucking creep. Alright, let's make sure there's nobody hanging out back here. Because I can't see with the shutters down. Okay, boop. 
Boop, boop. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and drop these for the night. And I think there's one more on this side. Two more. Cool. So let's get inside. Clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran to Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? Is this about yesterday? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk Look, to? If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Oh, well, let me go tell him that. I'm sure he'll stop. I got Anyways, this. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Alright, I think I got all my shit done. So I'll just close that, turn that off, and go to sleep. Trying to wake up in the middle of the night again. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. So I've been out here for almost a week. Oh, it's raining. You got, it. you got a minute? What is it? Well Cute. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks, let me know. Alright. Uh, console. Help. I think it's CH. Help. Yeah, CHK. Wow, I can't type. HK. Update. Three updates. Uh, update for service reporting system, update for Rainbow OS, security patch. Hey! Everything updated. <whistles> Shit. Fuck. Um, power was out. Okay. Where's my flashlight? There we go. Okay. So I guess I go downstairs and I have to redo the generator? Oh, it's raining, raining. Okay, nobody up there. Okay, got that going. Really had to pee before I go back up. Are you... What was the deal with the sound meter?
Oh, this is creepy as shit when it's raining. Yeah, what was the deal with that sound meter? One week later? Time was flying. Uh, Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I do is check in on Connor twice a day. Uh, that might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. We got another one. What? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? Okay. Rub the sleep out of my eyes. Okay, hi. <sighs> Why are you still up? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? I'll go have a look. Okay. Buddy, are you okay? Okay. Anything creepier on the sides? No. Alright, so there's a camp over there. Here's where Connor is. Oh! Hi! I didn't know what to make of it. I think it made sense. A time was to take evidence of it. Yeah, let's zoom in. All right, buddy. In count three, say cheese. One, two, three, cheese. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> let's try that again. Damn, this is an HD camera. Fuck. Okay, on the count three. One, two, three, cheese. One, two, three, cheese. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit! Okay, uh, somebody's coming, so I gotta... Bear spray. Hide? What's up, buddy? Damn. Janky ass Mickey Mouse shoes. Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Hearts ass looking shoes. Dirty ass boots stomping around in my cabin in here, ruining my rug. Get the fuck out of here, you nasty bitch. Okay, so it's going around. Okay. Connor what I saw? No. Alright. I'm just gonna make a run for it. Huh? Uh-huh. couldn't close the door.
Yeah, it wouldn't let me close the door. Just start running back. Uh, Ranger guy is locked. All right. Oh shit! Hi. Okay, let's get in the van. I should only kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with they met with no signs of misconduct. No one believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my, set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Uh, even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, those woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So, if you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. That was great. Survivor. Some of the interacting with things was a bit clunky. Uh, and didn't work quite right. Like, whenever I hid inside of the toilet the first time, it wouldn't let me open up or close the door. Because I had the bear spray on. Let me open it, but not close it. Uh, There's a few other cases where like, I had to like, drop everything completely in order to interact with anything. Uh, other than that, I thought this was great. It was a nice slow burn. Really cool story. Uh, maybe could have dealt or delved a little bit more into the... Hey, Jack Uh Could have delved a little bit more into like why they were doing this. Like, drop some more hints about a ritual or something like that. Uh, but otherwise, I thought it was great. Very good work. Yeah. I'm really, I'm, I'm curious what the fifth episode's gonna be. And uh, are they gonna keep going after that? Because seems like this might be the end of it. But yeah. Cool. What'd you guys think? Let me know. Um, if there's a recommendation for another game I should play, please let me know. There's a game out that uses your microphone, and if you scream, it resets. So I'm going to pl be playing that soon. Uh, I have 400 Days, the Walking Dead DLC, going up on Patreon this week. Um, What else do I got? I got a bunch of stuff lined up. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. Um, Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.